Well, pension talks between the French government and trade unions are set to continue on Friday after the two sides failed to reach an agreement. French unions have called for nationwide strikes to continue until the government concedes to their demands. Workers are protesting against pension reforms proposed by President Emmanuel Macron. The measures would eliminate the 42 separate pension schemes that offer early retirement and other advantages mainly to public sector workers. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe has said he is open to discussing solutions. By Friday, I hope we will be able to work well together and be able to communicate on the content, the form, the mandate that this funding conference will have. In the state of tension in which our country is in, it would be a good form to have an announcement that the pivotal age is being removed from the current bill. Otherwise, the CFDT will not be part of this discussion in the long term. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Elena Cassis, who's in Paris for us. Hi, Elena. Happy New Year. Now, explain to us uh, the background uh, of these protests. We know the protests really crippled large parts of France in the lead up to Christmas. What, what's the state of the negotiations now? Happy New Year, except it's not that happy if you're a commuter trying to get across town here in Paris. For more than a month now, it's, the metro here has ground to an almost complete halt and trains have been severely disrupted across the country. Now, as you were saying, that's because public sector unions, particularly those representing railway workers, are furious about plans to change the pension system and introduce just one scheme for all of the French, scrapping all of the special privileges that certain professions, like train drivers, enjoy at the moment. Some can retire as early as 52. Now, we did make a tiny incremental advance in the dialogue between those unions and the Prime Minister this morning. They are going to keep talking. They'll be meeting again on Friday to discuss how to finance the new pension system. But it doesn't look like either side is ready to give ground on anything that could actually end the strike. The government says that it is still going to push ahead with its plans and with the controversial plan that we heard about just then to introduce what they're calling a pivot age at 64 meaning that people would be induced financially to work at least until 64 while keeping the statutory retirement age at 62. That's something the moderate unions say they can't possibly accept, even when they do accept the principle that some pension reform is needed. So if the government isn't ready to move on that and the unions aren't ready to move either, it's hard to see how uh, these talks are going to end anytime soon. Okay, Lena Casas, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for that update from Paris.